Drive Home Mama, buckle up. Andre TV here from Drive Home Mama.com. Coming to you just with a, a typical Monday, a day in the life of a full time DoorDash driver. We have taken one order so far today. I was picking up at Tropical Smoothie Cafe for, I believe, 12 50 and 5 miles. And now we're on our second order. Picking up at Tati Bakery and Cafe for eleven dollars and three and a half miles let's go okay food is in the car and while we're at this red light i'll just let you know why i do doordash full time i work around my children's schedule for school and for sports and it is flexible they have one day a week where they have late start and now that we have two in high school one in lower school um, the high schoolers get out later but the elementary school does not so it's a lot of back and forth and changes, so it is easier for me to just work whenever I can. So right now they are in school, got up about 5.30, we left the house by 6.30, everybody was in school 8 o'clock, and we logged on to the app about 8.15. It is a slow Monday. This is only our second order. It's currently 9.18 a.m. So the hours that you have to work, you're not always going to get orders back to back to back. And at the end of the week, if you can have 40 active hours in the right zone, Choosing the right orders, you can make a full-time income. So let's go drop this off and see this. Okay, that last order did have a hidden tip and we received $13 instead of 11 And we have our next order. I usually don't come here because this is a very low tip slash no tip store, meaning the customers who order here do not tip well, typically. So, but we took it 825 for three point something miles. It's in the screenshot and hopefully it's okay. Right. That last order, the customer did tip $3 and the rest was DoorDash base pay. Um, the base pay in my area is 275. So every time it gets declined by all dashes in the area, then it goes up by a quarter. So it had to go up that much in order for somebody to take it, which was me. <laughs> and now we have our next one. Going back to Highlands, 925 for 3.9 miles again, but we're going back to the other side other side other side of the zone where we like to work so we're going to okay that last order had a small hidden tip we received ten dollars instead of the 925 that was shown and now we have our next picking up at bluestone lane 825 for 2.9 miles in total let's go get it okay that last order just had a 25 cent hidden tip we received 850 instead of 825 and now we have our next picking up at soul spice 675 for 0.7 miles and this one should be a definite hidden tip. Nine items, 152. While we were waiting for Soul Spice to finish the order, they sent an add on picking up at Dunkin' Donuts for only $2. That is right. The base pay, when they send the add on, they reduce it by 75 cents. But this is a no tip going to one of the college doors. That Soul Spice did go up to $15.45. Thank you, Mr. Customer. And the $2 remain $2. Absolutely no tip. We have our next order, Chick fil A. If it was any closer to 12, I wouldn't have taken it. Plus, if it was less items, I wouldn't have taken it. This was completely um, packed most lunch and dinner hours, and it's a bit slow. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, that was about a 10 minute wait, so not too bad. The longest I have waited at that store was 30 minutes. Plus, I have to keep in mind now, eight items is not a lot. It's one bag of food and not even a huge bag. Now they count when you ask for ketchup and napkins. So that was a part of the eight. So I don't know if this is going to be a hidden tip, but it's still 750 for just two point something miles. And we're going so to it do. turns out that small bag was an error on the part of Chick-fil-A because the customer has texted me that they are missing some of the sandwiches. I said, I am very sorry. That is the bag they gave me with all the items listed on the outside. If you reach out to support, they can issue a refund or resend another dash in. Because I have my next order. We are picking up at Jetty's. $7 for 2.2 miles. Okay, that order remained the same, and now we have our next two. It's a batch, $12, 1.9 miles. We have already picked up the jetties, and Subway should be right here. Okay, that last order did not go up, and we have our next order. Picking up at District Taco, 1850 for 8 point something miles. And it's probably going to take about 20 minutes to get to the customer's home, but we'll still be in the zone and we could get something over there. Let's go okay, there. we're still making our way to the customer's home. We are getting on the highway, but the highway is three and a half miles from the store. Like there is no close highway to the market I work in, but I found this little picture um, post funny. If you are a full-time door dasher, there is no PTO. There is no sick time. 
So it is your job to put away savings for when you can't work or don't want to work. And it would be wise to add streams of income, like starting a YouTube channel, doing ride along videos or whatever you want. And once you build up your subscribers and your watch hours, you can get advertising from Google AdSense and you can be an affiliate for things like Amazon, like um, the hot bags you use, the flashlight, my little push cart goalie, goalie thing that's down in the link below and other things. Okay, I was incorrect. They were about a half mile out of the zone, but they are close to a mall. So we paused our dash because we do not want to get any offers to the mall. That is one of the biggest time wasters and time um, sucks if you are dashing. Other than waiting at a restaurant, you have to officially park. Then you have to walk into the mall, find the food court, and then hope that they don't have people in front of them because they almost always serve those people first before they get your order. But we are on our way back to the zone and there was no hidden tip. I think it was $9 tip and then the rest was based, paid by DoorDash. Okay, if you do, do DoorDash full time, you will find the slowest times midday would be between 2 and 4 o'clock for the most part. So we are just getting our next order now. Spring Garden 625 for 1.3 miles. We did decline 2 before this. It was 10 and change for 6.6 .6 miles and then another one was 425 McDonald's for 2. We were in Spring Garden. They sent an add-on picking up from Leah's $7.50 for an additional 2.3 miles and we accepted and both of those orders stayed the same and we have our next order 1325 4.6 miles picking up at the spanish diner that last order there was a small hidden tip we have paid 14.79 instead of 13.25 shown and now we have our next cbs 675.8 miles shopping for one item curious about the one item pop corner that's it one thing is crazy to me $4.29 for popcorn, $6.75 is what I'm getting paid, and I'm sure they spent about $20 in total for, for it all. Uh, to be wasteful like that. Okay, yeah. after that last order, we ended that dash. Um, my daughter was going to get out at 5 o'clock, but now she was out of school at 4.11. So we're going to stop and go get her, bring her to our dad, then come back out, or possibly take her all the way home, then come back out, and we'll pick it back up. Okay, time is now 6.12 p.m. We did meet halfway, so now my daughter is on her way home with my husband, and we are back on the avenue. And we logged on about 6 o'clock, but we denied the first four or five orders, all for too high mileage. Not the price, because there's a $3 peak pay going on till 7.30 or 7.29, but the first order was $22.75 for 11.3 miles, going back to Silver Spring, which I just left from. Then there was another one for 11 and change going 5.4 miles, but across to the other side of the zone. So yeah, we declined about four or five and we have our next one for the night, 10.75 going 1.4 miles. We are going to Christmas. And we have arrived. And one of the reasons why I took that absolutely no tip one that was actually on the way earlier because I knew dinner time, I'm gonna be declining. I'm not going far and missing out on the peak pays for staying local. And I'm gonna keep my acceptance rate above 50%. Let's go get it. That last order did have a small hidden tip and we received 11.75 instead of the 10.75 shown. And now we have up next pizza bowlies, 9.75 for 1.2 miles of the Hopefully it's ready. Okay, that last order, with, there was a small hidden tip. We received 10.75 instead of 9.75. And we have our next order, $17. Two orders picking up at Soul Spice for a total of 1.7 miles. Let's go get it. Okay, that sums up a day in the life of a full-time DoorDash driver. That last order, um, there was a problem. For the Soul Spice, they were out of noodles for one of the customers. They didn't tell me this until about 10 minutes into waiting. And they wanted me to reach out to the customer to find out if they wanted to change to rice as the base for the bowl or just to wait. Of course, I reached out to the customer and they did not respond right away. So I decided since it was five minutes away to take customer number one, their food, then come back and then it was ready. So what I thought would have been doing two orders and getting one more in before the peak pay was over did not happen. And now it is almost eight o'clock and we are done for the day. The peak pay is off in the market where I like to work. And we have been at this 
roughly seven active hours, but almost 10 app on hours. So we are going to go home and this is for Monday. It could be typical and I say could be because you never know from day to day, weather affects things, how many dashers are out. Um, just if there was a holiday, everything can affect your normal day as a full-time DoorDash driver. It is going to fluctuate. It's going to be ups and downs. It's not going to be a steady, not any day is going to be the exact same as the day before. So hopefully to help, maybe help, this helps give you a little insight. If this is something that you want to do or if it's something you have to do, hopefully the tips and tricks I gave you would help you. The reason I didn't take that 2275, that was 11.3 miles for the evening shift during the peak pay, was because I had just taken that trip. It would have taken about 45 minutes to get there, and then I would have been out of my zone, and they would have either sent me an order um, in Silver Spring, which most likely, and in my experience, would not have the same amount of tips and those pity tips, or I would have to drive the whole way back and not receive any order or cause myself not to receive any vote tip order. So we will be back at it tomorrow and drive on. Huh? Okay, I lied. We are rolling the credits slash end of the movie. I did not reach the goal that I wanted to, so I stayed in the market that I was working and I did another two dashes. You're gonna see the screenshots. I did this knowing that I was tired and it was late. But tomorrow, I'm only going to have the daytime shift while the kids are in school. After school, we have practice. My daughter has a doctor's appointment. And then Tuesday is the slowest day of the week. By the time I bring her all the way home at probably 7.45-ish, is no time to go back down to my market, which is a half hour drive, and do anything because it's not going to be a lot of orders and it won't be worth it even in the gas. So we stayed out and we dashed some more. We had a couple of good orders, a Safeway Shop and Pay for $36 and change. And then the last batched order, um, I only took because it was $17, but it was getting somebody a pack of candles and a dessert. And all I could think of, it was a single person and it was their birthday and they had to order their own cake and there was no one there to celebrate with them. Oh my goodness. I'm hoping that wasn't the case, but that's what it looked like. So now we are ending our night. And if you want to be a full-time DoorDash driver, just know it's a grind. It is not easy. It is not quick. But if you got the hours and the power, you can make it happen on most days. And drive on mama.